subscribe Vision Channel. Today we will share information about around the sea world. Let's explore the sea. Microwave bluefin tuna. Bluefin tuna is a prized fish among seafood lovers, and cooking it to perfection can be a challenge. But with modern technology, even novice can prepare a delicious meal of bluefin tuna in no time with the help of a microwave. Tuna is one of those versatile types of fish that even those who dislike most types of fish can manage. Tinned tuna is perfect for a quick sandwich filling, to pop onto a salad or even to stir into your pasta. You can also fry up a delicious tuna steak to serve with veggies for a tasty main meal. To microwave tuna, you should first ensure you are only reheating the tuna. You cannot cook raw tuna in the microwave. Pop cooked tuna into a microwave safe dish and microwave for a round. How to microwave tuna Microwaving tuna isn't without its problems. To start with you do have to be very careful with how and what types of tuna you do heat up this way. To start with you do have to be very careful with how and what types of tuna you do heat up this way. You should only heat leftovers or cooked tuna, such as tuna that comes in tins. It would be too easy for raw tuna to become unsafe due to uneven cooking if you tried to microwave a raw steak. However, you can heat leftover tuna but consider whether you want to because it can leave a lasting fishy smell in your microwave. How to microwave tinned tuna If you've decided you want to warm up tinned tuna, then you can do this in the microwave. 1. Remove from the tin. Take your tuna out of the tin. Never try and microwave it in a metal container. This can do some serious damage to your microwave, and it might even cause it to catch on fire. 2. Add to a bowl. Pop the tuna into a microwave-safe bowl and cover. 3. Microwave. Put the bowl of tuna into the microwave and heat for 30 seconds. 4. Stir. Take it back out, give it a quick stir and check the temperature. If it needs to be heated a little more then you can put it back into the microwave for another 30 seconds. 5. Repeat. Keep repeating step 4 until your tuna is hot throughout. How to microwave tuna successfully? If microwaving cooked tuna is something you've decided you want to do then here are 3 top tips we'd stick to. Keep it covered. When reheating tuna, you should also do so in a microwave safe bowl with a lid. If not, then you need to cover using a different method. This helps avoid the lingering fishy smell you get when cooking fish in a microwave. Add flavor. 
If you want a little extra flavor added to your tinned tuna, you can add it as it heats. Sprinkle some of your favorite spices or herbs in, and this will help to bring out the flavor. Try a little chili for a spicy kick. Use small burts. When you are heating tuna in the microwave, you need only to do it in small bursts of time. Any more than 30 seconds or so and you are in danger of overcooking the tuna and making it inedible. Why you should microwave tuna? There are a couple of benefits to using the microwave to reheat tuna. Speedy. The main advantage of microwaving your tinned or leftover tuna is the speed. If you are in a rush, this is the perfect way to get your tuna perfectly warmed through quickly. No oil. Another great advantage of choosing to microwave your tin tuna is the flavor. Heating it allows you to bring out the flavor without the danger of overcooking it by frying. An added bonus is that you don't need to use any oil so you are saving yourself a few calories too. Why you shouldn't mic- It is very easy to overcook your tuna in the microwave, especially as you should only be microwaving tuna that has already been cooked. It only takes a few seconds for your tuna to go from cool to burning hot and overcooked. Very smell. The most significant disadvantage of choosing to microwave your tuna is the smell. Cooking tuna this way breaks down the fats in the fish and causes the fishy smell that people hate. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe this channel. See you later!